In this video, we're going to talk about Faraday's law. Now, Faraday states that the EMF induced in a conductor is directly proportional to the negative rate of change of flux linkage in that conductor. And what we're going to do, we're going to break down the flux linkage into N, B A cosine theta, which is, of course, B A cosine theta is just, of course, the uh, flux, right? Uh, we take the N out because usually the number of turns in the coil uh, doesn't change. So what this is uh, trying to tell us is that there are indeed three ways in which you can create a flux linkage change. One is you change the magnetic flux density in the coil. Number two, you change the area that is cutting magnetic flux density. And number three, change the angle at which the area makes to the field. So one example how you can have a dBdt, this is quite easy, right? You could have a coil like so, and then you have a magnet that is moving either towards or away from the coil. And so, of course, as the magnet moves towards the coil or away, the magnetic flux density in the coil is going to change. And therefore, there is a changing flux linkage. And so, of course, you will induce EMF. If we look at the dA dt example, this is well somewhat similar, but now you might have a region of fixed magnetic field like this. And then you could have a coil that is going to move into this region. And so as it moves into this region, more and more area is going to be cutting this uniform magnetic field. And so again, there will be a d phi dt in the coil and you will induce EMF. And uh, lastly, of course, the changing theta example, this is what happens in an AC generator. So you could have a fixed magnetic field. You have a coil that is going to spin around inside over here. And of course, as it spins, the angle at which this area is orientated with respect to the magnetic field going across is going to change. And so in that process, again, there is a changing flux linkage. And so, of course, that means there will also be EMF induced.